Hey everyone, thanks for tuning back into our channel. If you're loving our content, give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more awesome tutorials and reviews. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use both AI to create a custom chat bot. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is to open your browser and kindly go to poll.com or you can simply type on Google Pull AI and just click the first link that come up and all you need to do is to create your account and after signing in you will be directed on this dashboard and if you don't know what is po.com it is also known as platform for open exploration it is a service developed by Quora and Lunch in December 2022 in which it allows user to ask question and obtain answer from range of bay bots built on top of large language models also known as LLMs, including those chat, GPT, developer, OpenAI, and other companies like Entropic, and it also has a subscription which allows user to use GPT-4 and Cloud Plus without limits. And as you can see here, the custom bot is this Sage, which is about powered by OpenAIS chat GPT. And to start creating a bot, just click this button on the top corner of left side panel that says GradeBot Plus. But before you proceed to that, you also need to complete your profile and now we can start creating and customizing our book. And below, you need to enter your bot name and the name of your butt should be unique and contain at least Porto 15 alphanumeric characters. And below that, you are also required to enter the description. And let's say the description of my butt is a bot that teach about the tutorial on any platform well below that you're also required to enter your base bot by selecting on a given option. And I'm going to choose the chat GPT, or alternatively, you can choose to use an API in which from here, all you need to do is to enter your API URL and to fill out all of the required information below. But I'm going to use the prompt option, and below here, you are also required to enter a prompt in which all conversations with this bot will start with your prompt. But it will not be visible to the users in the chat. But if you would like the prompt message to invisible to the user, Consider using add into message instead and below the prompt it is like commanding your bot of what the things that you need to consider and answering some questions. So I'm going to say send messages of a step-by-step -step process on how to do or access any platform. And your audience is 18 years old and above. So speak in a positive tone and be informative. So aside from that, you can also add additional details under this prompt that you want to consider by your bot since the prompt is a crucial element in creating a bot as it serves as the initial input or instruction that guides the bot response and the importance of well-crafted prompt lies in its ability to convey clear and specific information to the bot, allowing it to understand the context and generate relevant and accurate responses as it also serves to have a contextual understanding, accuracy and relevance, user engagement, personalization, problem solving, enter enhance user experience, and improve outcomes as it helps to establish effective communication between the user and the bot. And below, here you can also customize an intro message which is the intro message of a bot is the initial message or greeting that is presented to the user when they interact with the bot for the first time. It also serves as a way to introduce the bot set expectations and initiate the conversation. So for the intro message, I'm just going to make it simple and below here you will see your book preview or what it looks like with the intro message while under the advantage sections from here. You can turn on your suggested replies, render a markdown content and even linkify both responses. And if you want your bot to be accessed publicly, just turn on this option that says but publicly accessible in order to fill out all of the required information in creating a bot. If you scroll up all of the information you can. Also customize or edit the picture in which the picture or visual representation of a bot can play a significant role in user engagement and perception. And now let's proceed by clicking great but button. And upon clicking on it it will show us the result. And as you can see here you will see the name of the bot the name of the user that has been operated it in the short description about this bot. And you can also see on the conversation the introduction message. But if you click the button on the top panel, it will show you the options such as 
the number of following but the share bot in order to access by others to view the prompt edit bot or even remove bot from list. But now let's try to have a conversation with this bot based on the prompt and details that we just input. And since the description of this spot is it teaches about the tutorial of any platform, I'm going to enter. I'm new to Facebook. How can I log out my account on Facebook? And by sending this message, it will show you the step-by-step -step procedure on how you can log out your Facebook account, in which from here, you will see the three procedural steps in order to lock out your Facebook account. And you can also give a feedback by liking or disliking the response of the bot. And as this but play a significant role in making tutorials more interactive, engaging, and accessible to learners in which user can ask questions and receive immediate responses and seek clarification on specific topics. And aside from that, what can offer personalized guidance and support to learners throughout the tutorial by analyzing user responses and interactions, but can adapt the tutorial content to meet the individual needs providing tailored explanations, examples, or additional resources based on the learner's progress and the comprehension level. So now let's try again to ask for guidance by this platform. And to make the conversation, I'm going to type, how can I log in on my Spotify? And upon hitting Enter, it will show us the procedural step-by-step -step process on how to log in on our Spotify. And as you can see, the answer that it provides are very detailed and specifics in which using this step, you can obviously log in on your Spotify and aside from this spot, we can also navigate other bots on the left side panel, including the SageCloud Instant Jut GPT and many more. But if you want to access the GPT port and Cloud Plus, you can do that by clicking on Settings option and by subscribing to Plan in order to upgrade your account and access some of the bot, including GBD4, Cloud Plus, and Cloud Instant 100K. Since the importance of upgrading a plan to access other bots lies in the expanded range of capabilities, functionalities, and possibilities it unlocks. And it is important to carefully evaluate the features, benefits, and cost effectiveness of upgrading your plan to access other bots by considering your specific needs, the value with additional bots, and how they align with your goals. And aside from that, below here, you can also customize the default bot at even the appearance of this site, such as light theme, dark theme, or systematic or automatic. And let's say I'm going to choose the dark theme, but you can choose other themes depending on your preference. And below here, you can also navigate other options about this platform. So that is just how to use Bo AI to create a custom chatbot. Thank you.